So let's go ahead and roll that tape. Palo Alto High School has one of the largest and most successful high school journalism programs in the country. It was started by Esther Wojcicki about 20 years ago and includes people like Paul Kandel, who was named 2009 National Journalism Teacher of the Year by the Dow Jones Newspaper Fund. I spoke to some of his beginning students. And why did you decide to take a journalism class? Uh, well, the journalism programs here at Pali are like phenomenal, uh, and I'd really like to be involved in them. And so this is one of the prerequisites for um, joining one of the publications here on campus. Pali is known for its prodigious journalism program, and um, Mr. Kendall is a very acclaimed teacher, and same with Waj, who is the Campanile advisor. And um, it's just a really good thing to know how to do report news and be in the know with um, the coming events of the world. And um, I really want to aspire to be hopefully a magazine editor or of some kind. Um, that's why I want to write for Viking next year, which is a sports magazine. The students put out several high quality publications, including the Viking sports magazine. Ellen Austin is teacher advisor for the Viking. Well, we believe that we're the first magazine of this kind in the country at the high school level. We're an all sports publication, 64 pages of all high school sports six times a year. Um, and we believe that this is, at our school, 40% of our student body plays a sport. That means one in two kids on our campus is in a sport. So we think that this is really relevant and this is what kids care about. So we've really made the commitment to tell those stories. And we do a lot of sports journalism training. Do you think that a lot of the students are actually going to go on to become journalists? Very few of them will go on to become journalists, but um, this isn't uh, this this isn't as much about creating a job mentality as it is about getting the idea of telling the stories of your community and being aware of this town forum that we're in. Also, frankly, as a teacher, I have the First Amendment posted over there about uh, freedom of the press. I think as a citizen in this country, uh, journalism is where we see that First Amendment going to work, and the kids are going to be citizens first. I also spoke to some editors of the Viking. My favorite part is probably production week, which is when everything kind of comes together. Um, and I really like that because everyone is here and everyone stays here pretty much all night long for a week. And that's when most of the stories are already written and we, it's just the final editing and then putting it all together and you can really see the magazine coming together, which is just really fun and really exciting. My favorite part about working on the mag this year has been doing the online news content. So we've had beat teams go out um, this entire year for each sport and we've covered them the way a daily paper was. So it's been really fun taking on another challenge um, in addition to our 64 page magazine. There's also a student newspaper called the Campanile. I spoke to one of its editors. In addition to learning just writing skills and improving that, you really learn how to communicate effectively with a group of different people because on staff we have people who are incredibly quiet, people who are incredibly loud, people who are Republicans, Democrats. Um, so you really learn how to communicate with every kind of person on here. You learn how to make persuasive arguments and because the class is so self-organized, you also learn some leadership skills and how to calm a room. And I think really you learn a lot of social skills that are going to help you a lot when you're dealing with groups in life or even just public speaking skills. Okay, so that was some of our footage from Palo Alto High School in the journalism program. Now, Paul, this is very interesting because that last speaker was speaking about leadership skills, social skills all kinds of things that are very useful, not only in journalism, but in life in general. Do you make an effort to inculcate those kind of qualities, leadership, teamwork in your students, and, and how do you go about training kids to do that? We absolutely make a, a conscious effort to work on those things. I think that you, in setting up the structure to, to put together a, a publication requires an immense amount of communication. Uh, somebody's gotta lead that communication. In many other classrooms, something complex like that would be led by teachers. But uh, students are capable of doing that, and we kind of throw them off the deep end with guidance, and uh, they, they rise, they do it. It's so a very complex thing to put out a, a magazine that's uh, at that length or to uh, maintain a website um, that's updated 24-7, and they can do it. So it sounds like they're learning by doing real work as opposed to simply sitting in a lecture hall. They're absolutely not doing their work for the teacher, they're doing it for their audience and that's what drives all of the success that we, that we have at Pali.
Now, do you grade them using traditional written tests, or is it mostly how they perform actually putting the publication together that determines what kind of grade they get? The, 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 they're graded on a variety of things, including their general presence and their participa participation in the classroom, but clearly the, uh, their, their product and the end product are uh, key in that. And we give, uh, I'd have to say, we, we give a lot of A's because they, uh, they, they do the work. They do it well. Do they decide themselves who gets what job as far as who's an editor and who's a reporter, or do you yes. still have to? Yes. So we might provide some guidance, but generally the outgoing, uh, outgoing staff makes the uh, um, decisions about the incoming staff. The new editors can then make uh, decisions uh, on the fly for the, for the coming year. So uh, we guide that process, but it's, uh, that part is also student-run. Now, you were named 2009 National Journalism Teacher of the Year by the Dow Jones Newspaper Fund. Could you tell us anything about how that came about? Um, so the, the News Fund, they've just changed their, names, their name, actually, from Newspaper Fund to News Fund. And I think that the, um, the switch from newspaper to news is, is telling. Uh, I'm a, I, I, in addition to the magazine, I also oversee the website, and that is a uh, the direction that our the professional journalism industry is headed, uh, and the st students have to get there too. So the Pali Voice has been a leader in that for multiple years, and I think that was a, a one of the very big re biggest reasons why they wanted to focus on our program. Now the Pali Voice, that's the web portal. Yes. Um, now does that overlap with the other publications, the online version, or is it a whole separate? Operation. It's a separate staff of 30 students. Uh, up till this year, they would take the work of all those other publications and upload it, and then they would pr provide their own coverage of news and sports primarily in between issues of those other publications. In fact, we've got about 200 advanced journalism students at Pali, which me meant that that website had constant turnover in terms of its, um, its content. That's one of the great things about that website uh, in particular. Um, this year, we decided that we were kind of done having this, that web journalism staff just do the mechanical job for the other publications of uploading their work. Um, and so we handed out passwords to all 200 of those students, and now they're uploading their own work. And we think that's really a, an important step. They are now, you know, we, the day we did that, we created, we had 30 digital journalism students. Now we created another 170 digital journalists. And you can see that in their thinking, that they, they really understand that I think that you, you can see them embracing the digital age much more. That well, sounds like a very impressive thing. We have more video from Palo Alto High School. We're going to show that video and then return for our final discussion about the Palo Alto High School journalism program. So let's go ahead and roll that tape. 